Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Dre. We have two special guests here, not one, but two. And it's a family episode, so we're going to get ready to get started. Alright, here we are with our two special guests. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Mary. We are a mother and a father of three wild and crazy kids. We are also friends of Dre, along with being subjects of torture. Okay, I like that, I like that. So what are we going to cook today? What, what are we doing? Well, today we're going to cook a risotto with... Okay, okay. We are also making a quinoa vegetable salad along with what else are you going to bring to lunch this week? Uh, make some turkey wraps. Turkey wraps. Alright, so we have three different dishes for a meal prep for the week. And that sounds pretty good. Alright. Actually, let's get this started. Alright, we have our ingredients here. We have our quinoa that's going to be used in our risotto and our quinoa salad. We also have our zucchini, we have our chicken stock, which is going into our risotto, and we have our flatbread that we're using for our turkey wraps. Here are the rest of the vegetables we have for our three recipes today. All right, we have our strainer here, which we're gonna use to strain the quinoa. We're gonna rinse it. And then here we have our crock pot steamer that we're going to use to cook the risotto dish. We will be cooking the vegetables in two different ways today. While one set of vegetables is going to be roasting in the pan for one of the recipes, I will be sauteing the other set of vegetables in this pan right here. And then we'll be cooking the quinoa for the salad in this pot. All right, we have our quinoa here and between the salad and the risotto dish, we are using four cups of quinoa. So this is my fourth cup right here. And now I'm going to rinse it out. While Mark is rinsing off all the quinoa and everything like that, we're gonna turn over here to Miss Who, Mary, and she's gonna go ahead and uh, show us how we're gonna do the vegetables and everything. So the first thing I'm going to cut is the bell pepper. And basically you just cut off the top. You're gonna pull out the seeds and the little white things off the side. If you want, you can chop off a little bit off the bottom. The other thing I'm cutting up is zucchini, which I'm quartering. I'll cut it in half, do them both in half again. Those all go into a bowl at the end to be able to be easily put into the recipe later. Another thing that's going into the recipes is an eggplant. Make sure when you guys cut, put your fingers like this. Don't do it like she does, because you'll probably cut your finger off. Thank you, Dre. And I usually just cut off the two ends. Get a nice diagonal cut going. All right, so I have the chicken out that's gonna go into the risotto dish, and I'm going to cut this in half. All right, so now we're cutting the breast in half. Two even fillets here that we can put in the crock pot. Midway through the cooking, we open it up and we start to shred the chicken. All right, so I am going to add an onion to the risotto. It doesn't call for it, but uh, as somebody who loves a good risotto with a lot of flavor, I do enjoy adding things like extra garlic and onions. I'm going to show you a little trick I learned to cut an onion. And you take that first layer off. Do not cut off the end. And you are going to cut it all the way, but not quite. That didn't make any sense, did it? Almost all the way down. You're making little eh, half inch, quarter inch stripes, cuts, and then you're gonna go the other way. So now you're making a little checkerboard. And you just turn it on the side. And you have nice little pieces. All ready for you. It's kinda cool. Asparagus, little trick. You bend it till it snaps. Bat the bottom part, that's the bad part. You keep the top. 
and then tomatoes actually for the wraps. Right now Mark is pouring chicken stock inside and that's where the chicken and the risotto and all the vegetables are already put in there and that's what he's gonna do for the rest of this recipe. Right now I saw that he had a little bit of seasoning. What, do you, what kind of seasoning have you put in the, the little crock pot thing? So it there? calls for a pinch of um, kosher sea salt and then one last thing that it calls for is some pepper. Used uh, crushed garlic comes in these nice frozen little uh, cubes. All right, so we have all of our ingredients that are in the first step of the risotto. So we're going to turn on our crock pot here and on high. So right now the recipe calls for four hours, but this does cook um, a little hotter. So in about two hours, we're gonna open it up and check it out, make sure everything is uh, looking all right. Being in the kitchen when you're with two people, three people, four people, it doesn't matter how many, you wanna make sure that you guys kinda of know where each other's at. So things I do is if somebody's near here and I need to come over here, I might say behind. But make sure you always give little cues to make sure you don't hit each other, especially if you're opening up an oven. Make sure you say it's cold, not hot, so the other person burns their hand. It's a funny thing in the, in the kitchen, I do it a lot. So one of the things I am doing with the vegetables is I'm going to toss some of them with some extra virgin olive oil. I put it all together into the bowl, toss it up with my hands, and then I'll be distributing them between the pan for the inside of the oven and the pan for the top of the stove. I am tossing the eggplant and the zucchini. They are the heartier of the two vegetables and I'm putting them into the oven at a roasting temperature of about 425. So you have the zucchini and the eggplant on the pan. 15 minutes, give them a big toss, and then maybe 10 to 15 minutes more. That'll be plenty. So right now she's sauteing the vegetables, the peppers in the pan right now. And while she's doing that, Mark's gonna be going ahead and cutting and messing up this whole turkey. I don't know what he's gonna do to it, but he's gonna do something to it. done right here for the quinoa. This is going to go just entirely for the salad. It might look like a lot, but it's not. This is going to be for about a couple days. Alright, so to make the wraps, I took a piece of the flatbread, put it face down on the cutting board, and we have two different types of wraps that we make in our house. I don't like mustard and my husband doesn't like hummus. So we will start with the first wrap with hummus. So I just take some hummus. Okay, so with the peppers, I did not chop up all of them. I left some of them in strips. Makes it a little bit easier for making the wraps. I also add a little tomato to mine. Tuck it, roll it, and tuck it like a burrito. A cute little cut. Voila! So here we have a larger bowl with the cooked quinoa, the sauteed bell peppers, and the roasted zucchini and eggplant. I've put them all in. And at this point, we just add in pesto to taste. There's no specific amount. Takes a while to toss. No matter if you're at the gym or you're at home, if you say the C word, which is C-A-N-T, with an I in front of it, you have push-ups. I don't care if you're at the gym, you're here at home, he had to do it because he said it. All right, so we've hit two hours on our crock pot and we've opened it up. We've stirred it around, we've shredded the chicken. So now we have to add our last ingredients and let it uh, cook for another 30 minutes and then it's ready to eat. First thing I need to do is add the rest of the chicken stock. 
Then we add our broccoli and asparagus. Shut the lid again, and 30 minutes, it'll be done. All right, so there you have it. We just finished everything. It took how long to do the risotto? It took two and a half hours uh, to do the, the risotto. So you have the risotto, we have the turkey wraps, and we have the quinoa salad. So everything's done, but I want you guys to tell me how it tasted. All right, there you go. Now, how was that, Mark? Very good. Thank you guys again for being a part of the show. Sign off. What's your name? All right, this is Mary. Thanks for watching. This is Mark. All right, and you guys already know me. It's Cooking with Dre, and I will see you guys later. All right, till next time.